Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. And today I'm going to talk about uh, recessive X-linked trait that is um, red-green color blindness and about a bio blood group system. And here is a problem. A woman with normal vision and type A blood type whose father was color blind, X-linked recessive genetic disorder, color blindness and had type O blood marries a man with normal vision who had type O blood. Blood type is um, inherited autosomally. What proportion of all the offspring will be colorblind males with type O blood? And as usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your oven first. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So how we are going to solve this problem? First, let's analyze what we know about uh, female genotype. We know that she belongs to the blood group A. And we know that her father had uh, blood type O. So let's analyze blood type first and then we can talk about um, X-link uh, inherited color blindness. So uh, blood type A can be made by uh, two genotypes. One genotype can be AA, another one AO. And phenotypically this is going to be blood type A. So both these two genotypes would make one phenotype, blood group A. So let's figure out if her genotype is AA or AO. We know that her father had blood group O and that means that her father had genotype OO and phenotype O. So this phenotype is made by only one genotype. So because we know that female belong to the blood group A, that means that uh, the only variant for her genotype would be AO. So now we know her genotype, we know her phenotype, we know that her father uh, were had blood group O and uh, had genotype that is OO. Now uh, let's consider color blindness of this female if she has this trait or not or if she has uh, this allele if she is carrier or not. So what we know about her father we know that her father uh, were color blind. What does it mean? Um, I would use red color to designate defective allele that is on the X chromosome. This is recessive genetic disorder, X-link recessive genetic disorder. So her father genotype was defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. Nothing is said about her mother, so we have to assume that her mother were phenotypically and genotypically normal. And when we build a Punnett square, we can predict the probability that this female would inherit this uh, recessive genetic disorder that is X-linked. So here we have one normal chromosome inherited from the mother side, one defective X chromosome from the father side. Actually this is not the whole chromosome that is defective, only allele on this chromosome, but we just designated with red color that would help us to solve this problem. So here we have also normal chromosome, X chromosome from the mother side, defective from the father side, and here we have normal X chromosome from the mother side, 
normal Y chromosome from the father side, normal X chromosome from the mother side, and normal Y chromosome from the father side. As you see, 100% of the male progeny in such a couple would be phenotypically and genotypically normal. And about, not about all female progeny would be carriers. Phenotypically would be normal just like the mother, but would be carriers and uh, chromosome, X chromosome that we designate with green color is uh, dominant over this recessive X-linked genetic disorder. So in simple Mendelian genetics, this genotype still would produce phenotype that is the same as mother here on the side. So normal. So as you see, 100% of the female progeny would be carriers. So now we know everything we need to solve this problem about female. So we now know that her genotype blood group is AO and now we know that she is obligate 100% carrier of uh, red-green color blindness but she personally is not affected with this genetic disorder because this is recessive X-linked genetic disorder and females has two uh, chromosomes and one of them would be normal chromosome so phenotype would be normal and now what we know about a man that she marries we know that uh, his blood uh, group O at, and that means that his genotype would be O O we know that this man is not colorblind so uh, we would use green X chromosome that is normal and normal Y chromosome so this is going to be genotype of the male so we can use this sign to designate male and we have to cross with female and we know that her blood group A and her genotype is AO so her genotype would be AO and she is obligate carrier of a recessive genetic disorder that is red green color blindness so one of her X chromosome would be normal and one would be defective now uh, we can find the probability for the offspring to be male who is uh, belong to the blood group O and who is color blind so we can find probability or percentage of the progeny who would be belong to this group so what we have to do first we have to build a Punnett square for each trait so here we have genotype of the male and here on the side genotype of the female now we build the Punnett square and we can predict all the possible genotypes in their progeny so capital A or here capital A or here and allele O is recessive to allele A when we have uh, blood group AO or this is genotype that means that this is going to be phenotype A and here we have O from one parent or from the other parent so as you see 50% of the progeny would belong to the blood group A and another 50% of the progeny would belong to the blood group O regardless of their sex now let's consider the second trait 
we also have uh, two variants of the alleles here. So we put genotype of the male on the top, just like in this example. So this is going to be normal X and Y chromosome. And here would be a grid of the Punnett square. And genotype of the female, as you see, would be obligate carrier. So normal X and defective X chromosome. Normal X, X here. Normal X, Y here. Defective X chromosome here. And normal X chromosome here. And defective X chromosome here. And normal Y chromosome here. Once again, 100% uh, of the female progeny would be phenotypically normal. And as for the male progeny, 50% of the male progeny would be genotypically and phenotypically normal and 50% of the male progeny would have red-green color blindness. Now, the last step, we have to find the proportion of all the offspring that would be color blind males with blood type O. So, what is the probability for the male to belong to this blood group? As you see, 50%. So, we can put uh, 0 0.5. This is going to be a probability for a male to, be, to belong to the blood group O. And probability that this male would be affected with this genetic disorder, color blindness, also would be... 0.5. So now we have to multiply these two probabilities. We use uh, rule of multiplication. If we are looking for uh, such trait, two traits that have to happen together. So we are looking for male who belongs to the blood group or and he have to be affected. So 50% we have to multiply by 50%. Or if we have scale between 0 and 100%, this is the same. We can convert to the scale bet uh, 0 between 1. We just have to, if we want to convert this system into this, we have to divide all numbers by 100, or if we want to convert this system into this, we have to multiply all the numbers by 100. So if we multiply 0 0.5 by 0 0.5, our answer going to be uh, 0 0.25. Or if we need an answer in percentage form, as you remember, we have to multiply this number by 100. So if we multiply this number by 100, we can get an answer in percentage form. An answer would be 25%. So once again, probability that this couple would have affected male, whose uh, genotype or phenotype would be O, and whose um, genotype for the X-link trait uh, red-green color blindness would be defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome would be also 0 0.5. So we have to multiply these two probabilities and this is would be our final answer. Probability for this couple to have uh, affected male whose blood type would be O would be 25%. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. 
and see you in the next video. Goodbye.